Best Pirate by Carrie Lynn Winters. Barnacle Garrick showed his daughter a section of the treasure map. Scully is crafty, so he'll find the booty before them cats. Augusta leaned in closer. He's nimble, too. He'll sneak past them tuna lubbers on Crossbones Island. But most important, me lassie, Scully is fearless. He'll pillage them doubloons and bring them back to our ship, right where they need to be. Augusta moved the candle closer so her father could read the map better. Barnacle growled a warning, but... Blimey, you ruined me map! Now we'll never find the booty. Augusta, you got to be a better pirate. Scully eyed the remains of the burnt map. Barnacle stomped to the hold. She got to be nimble and fearless, not clumsy and afeard. She'll be the best pirate, Captain. I's be making sure of it. Yes, better be making sure of it or you'll be marooned on Crossbones Island. Even though she didn't agree with her father's ways, Augusta practiced being crafty, nimble, and fearless. Everything was going well until... Arrgh! That's me good foot! How was I supposed to get to the booty before them cats? I can't plunder with a pair of bad legs. At that moment, Augusta knew she'd have to do better. Early the next morning, she prepared the jolly boat. Squid and Bones tried to stop her. You'll never find them doubloons with a burnt-up map. The captains won't like this. It's too dangerous. But Augusta announced, I've hurt Scully. I have to make it right. I'll bring the booty back myself. The island was bigger and scarier than she expected. Something moved. Instead of acting afeard, Augusta stomped toward the sound. You! You're one of those tuna lovers! You! Yes be one of them frilly dogs! Suddenly... Shiver me timbers! Blimey! Give me that booty, you tuna lubber. It's mine. You frilly dog, I's be the best pirate. I should get the doubloons. At that moment, Augusta and Scuppers looked up, way up. We got to get out. They tried reaching, jumping, and climbing. Meanwhile, on the ships, Where's me daughter? She got to be somewhere on this ship. Stop your blathering. Finds me son. Morning turned into afternoon. Afternoon turned into evening. We'll never get out. I, 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 I's afeard. Augusta was too, but she remembered that she needed to be a better pirate. She needed to be crafty. So she devised a plan. She began collecting swords and daggers. Avast, ye! Ye stole me sword! This is no time to pick a fight! Augusta jammed the swords into the dirt walls. Understanding her crafty plan, Scuppers offered his help. Augusta and Scuppers worked quickly. Soon, with their ditty bags full of booty, they were climbing up and up. Augusta knew she needed to be nimble. Follow me! As she climbed out of the hole, she felt fearless. But just then, a dagger came loose. Even though she was afeard, she reached out a paw and saved scuppers. Meanwhile, Ahoy! I hears her! 
over here. Yous be the best pirate, Augusta. The best pirate should get the doubloons. We only made it out because we work together. Keep your half of the treasure. And with their ditty bags and bandanas full, the two mateys waved goodbye. Yes, be here! Blow me down, she got the booty! Glads we found ye, see, pup. Augusta passed the doubloons to Scully. Meanwhile, me son be alive, and has brought me the pieces of eight. Yo ho ho, our hero! Scully presented the treasure to Barnacle. See, Augusta, learn from the better pirate. Scully's crafty, nimble, and fearless. He seized our booty and outwitted them tuna lovers. Scully winked at Augusta. Aye, Captain, was all be learning from the best. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more kids' story time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more kids' story time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more kids' story time.